Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a pantry makeover slash organization. I'm going to be sharing some new storage containers that I got. I got some new baskets as you can see back there. So we're gonna totally revamp my pantry. I don't have the biggest pantry. I have kind of like a, a smaller one. So it gets cluttered pretty fast. Currently I do have baskets in there that I've had for quite a few years from the Dollar Tree. So I figured I wanted to just switch it out. I was getting tired of it and maybe try something new. So we got some new containers for like my flour, my pastas, all of that stuff along with some new wicker baskets that I'm really excited. I paid $4 each for these baskets. Marshall's just recently opened back up so they had like super good clearance. So I was able to snag up four baskets for $4 a piece. They were originally like 10 bucks. So I was super stoked. So I'm going to show you guys the before of what it's looking like now. And then we're going to get it all decluttered, nice and organized and kind of give it a nice revamp. So if you are tuning in for the first time, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Please subscribe, join the family, share this video. If you know anybody that needs some inspiration to get organized, I would greatly appreciate it. Let's dive right in. So these are the baskets that I picked up from Marshalls. This was the only one that was different, but what I'm gonna do here, if you can tell, there's like a little part where they tied it. I'm just gonna cut that off because I don't want them to be closed. So I got those four. And then this is something new that I got. I ordered these storage containers on Amazon. So it was a pack of six. This is gonna be perfect for all my pastas, sugar, extra um, like goldfish and stuff like that. And then I'm also gonna get my Tupperware organized. So I got this lid organizer on Amazon as well. I'll have all of this stuff linked down in the description for you guys if you're interested. I'm really excited for these airtight containers. I've been dreaming all night Bringing me some inspiration Never meant to love no one But baby I'm starting off by organizing my top cabinet. This is where I typically keep any of our breads, our chips, donuts, stuff like that. As you can tell, it is pretty much just all over the place. I recently went grocery shopping about a week or so ago, so yeah, it's been pretty much just getting thrown back in there. And I found some of this stuff in the back that goes to show the last time that I actually cleaned back there and got it all nice and organized. So I'm just gonna toss out whatever's expired and then give the cabinets a good wipe down. Every glimpse of you deserts me You're all I think about sometimes But baby I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way Don't wanna waste no time without you ever brightening up my days Never meant to fall so hard All of the current baskets I'm using now were from the Dollar Tree. I've had them for about two years or so. These top ones were actually still in pretty good condition, so I'm going to still use these. I like to keep all of our storage bags and the garbage bags in these baskets. So I'm just kind of just going through and organizing them because I noticed there's a lot of stuff just kind of mixed together. So I always like to take any storage bags out of the box, place them in this basket, and then any straws I keep in here for the kids just so they're not spilling all over the place and they're easy to grab. Trying to get away from this life 
Now these containers that I'm about to use, I got these from Walmart uh, about two years ago. They come in a pack of three, so they're stackable. I like to use these to place any bread on, and then I always store the kids' noodles in there just so they're already out and we don't have to play around with opening the packages. I just like to keep them organized in there so we can just grab it easily. I do have the other tray underneath my sink where I keep cleaning supplies but I actually really do love these stackable shelves they're very convenient and they really definitely help you keep things organized I'll try to get a link for these I don't know if they even still have them like I said I bought them like two years ago I do love them but maybe if I can find something similar I'll link it down below for you guys Now I'm going to go through and start to toss out anything that might be expired. There was a ton of oatmeal packets that were in the back of the pantry. I'm pretty sure those definitely needed to get tossed out because I haven't made oatmeal in such a long time. So I'm going to go through, condense down all of their snacks. I'm going to take everything out of the boxes so I can get it all nice and organized. My kids are definitely snack eaters. So I usually try to keep two baskets to keep their snacks. Anything extra I usually store behind so I can just fill it as needed. Kalif was FaceTiming me there that's why I was kind of holding the phone up because he was asking what I was doing and I was showing him that I was filming my pantry makeover so I'm gonna go ahead and get everything broken down and organized first I'm gonna put all of my pastas um, like my macaroni and cheese um, any boxed meals I'm gonna place in this basket I feel like these baskets they were about the same size as the ones that I currently had from the Dollar Tree but they were a little bit more wider if that makes any sense the, Looking at them, they kind of almost looked about the same size, but I feel like these go straight down. The Dollar Trees kind of go down as a curve, so it takes up some of the extra space that you could use. Do you? Do you? It was a Thursday night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Yeah, it was crazy It was a Friday night when I first kissed you You struck me like lightning You broke my chains and released me 
Are your kids a snack lover like mine? I feel like mine are always going in the snack basket, so it's always like a must to have snacks on deck. I have so many fruit snacks. Save Lot actually had a really good sale where they had them for a dollar a box, so I stocked up on those. So I'm filling one basket full of just fruit snacks. Originally I had, as you can see here, them spread out, but then I'm like, no, I gotta make room for some other stuff. So I'm just gonna push those to the back. And then I decided to add in some crackers that they like, and then some of their cereal bars, and then another basket I'll keep in like their Pop-Tarts, their bag snacks like Cheez-Its, and the muffins that they like. So what I'm doing here, I'm just placing any extra snacks that I have in the back so that way once the snacks start to get low, I can just go ahead and fill it as needed. I really, really love these baskets, you guys. I would recommend going to like Marshalls if you can to try to scope out and find some baskets. Hobby Lobby usually has good sales. Maybe you can get them 50% off. I know Amazon, they can be a little overpriced, but definitely wicker baskets, I feel like they just make the area just look so much better. I once felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Had to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders And closed off what you're doing, my mom? Just cleaning out. Yeah, I just got all the furniture on the floor. And he's about to come back. Samir! Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Are you wearing that basket, you silly boy? Okay. Let me see. These containers were a little bit smaller than I expected, which is fine. For the most part, they fit pretty much a pound of pasta in it. These bowl tie noodles, obviously, are a little bit bigger, so I did have to take a little bit out, but I'm just filling my sugar and flour that I have left over, and then the rest of my other pastas. Some of these, they fit the whole box, like you see there, it fit perfectly. I think it just depends on the size of noodles. Now, my spaghetti noodles, when I cook them, I break them in half before I even cook them, so I figured I'm just gonna snap them in half, that way they're already like that, and I can just pull them out, put it in whenever I'm cooking, and then this whole box fit it in there perfectly. I've never had good containers for my pasta. I feel like this just looks so much better. It's such an upgrade. And what was cool with this set, it does come with this measuring scoop cup here. So I'm gonna actually place that in my rice container that I have, just so I, that way I can just scoop out rice easily. I had some extra pasta left over, so just like I did with the snacks, I'm just gonna place those behind these containers. So once they start to get low, I can go ahead and just fill them up. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that hobbit bitter. Maybe you taste different. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can't. 
can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. Now I'm going ahead and getting everything organized down here. I like to keep my crock pot down here just because there's really nowhere else in my kitchen to store it. And then I'm placing my cereal containers back in here. I absolutely love these containers. I've been using them for about a year now. They do keep everything fresh, um, so they are airtight. I did before consider getting like the OXO containers, but those are a little pricey. These ones were from Walmart and they work just perfectly fine. And then I'm gonna store any leftover juice I have for the kids and I keep my rice and then some extra pasta I had and some oatmeal down here. While you're going on about your simple life Nothing left you absolutely love the way that this looks now you guys it's so organized and neat I'm really happy that I decided to switch up my baskets and go with this look it just looks so clean and everything kind of looks aesthetically pleasing it kind of matches much better I mean the white baskets were perfectly fine but I really am glad that I invested in these new containers for my pasta it just makes it look so much better Now that my pantry is all done, I'm going to tackle my Tupperware cabinet. This is a mess. Literally every time I open it, containers are falling all over me. So I was really excited to get the lid organizers and get this bad boy all nice and organized. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going. No control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign Ah, oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more I really like that this was an adjustable container so that way I can go ahead and adjust it to fit my lid sizing as I wanted. At first I was struggling a little bit as you can see here with getting it to stick in. I think it was just the user, it wasn't the product. But once I got it figured out I was able to place all of my lids in here and if you guys do not have one of these I would highly recommend suggesting that you <laughs> purchase one. They're very affordable and for real it definitely is going to transform that space you're not gonna have lids falling all over the place I feel like that's the worst part of Tupperware is the lids because the bowls you can stack them but the lids they kind of just do their own thing most of the time and I know for me every time I would open my cabinet here would become a lid flying at me could go for this no more tricks we could take things slow say you think about it too when the lights go out and there's no doubt that I should another glimpse of the before this was chaotic pretty much there was lids all over the place bowls everywhere 
it was definitely a mess and this is a glimpse of what it's currently looking like now so neat and organized you guys now when I open my cabinet I don't have lids attacking me I can easily grab what I need I'm not digging all over the place for lids to match my bowls I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it gave you some extreme organization motivation and you tackle an area in your home that needs to definitely get organized if you did enjoy this video please make sure you subscribe join the family here i would love to have you until then stay beautiful stay blessed and don't forget how strong and powerful you are see if you've been texting me where do we go from here i want to go all in so give me a sign